Hi gang! One question I get asked a lot is can I use earbuds, like these ones, or ones from Apple to listen to my crystal radio? User Maxim Poe pointed out to me that by adding a transformer, you can. Now this is where a crystal radio earpiece normally connects. Uh, one side to the ground and one side to the diode from the crystal radio. But it's not just a simply a matter of taking your earbuds and putting them in place of the earpiece. You're going to need a transformer. And uh, what will happen is one side of the transformer will connect to the crystal radio and the other side of the transformer will connect to the earbuds. But which side goes where? This transformer is marked as 100 to 120 volts AC on the input and 6 volts AC to the output. So the high voltage side goes to the crystal radio parts and the low voltage side goes to the earbuds. So in this case this is the high voltage side and these are the low voltage side. So I'll take the high voltage wires, doesn't matter which one, connect one to the ground and connect the other one to the diode. On this transformer I can either use 6 volts using these two wires or 6 volts using these two wires. And my earbud jack looks like this. To connect to one earbud I would connect to this part near the base and then I would connect to this part near the tip. To connect to the other earbud I would again connect to this part near the base and then I would connect to the middle part. But uh, my crystal radio is only powerful enough to power one earbud at a time. So I'm going to connect to this part near the base and this part to the tip. And I'll connect them to the 6 volt output of my transformer. And now it's ready to test. So I've got something. Keep in mind only one earbud is connected so I can only hear out of this one. But I'll give you a listen. So it's fairly strong. So these are the various transformers I've tried. This is the one I've been showing and that works very well. This is a doorbell transformer which I got from a local electronics store. You might be able to buy them from a place like Home Depot. This one I don't know where I got it from. It works almost as well as a doorbell transformer. This one I got from a circuit board inside a microwave oven. So I took it off the circuit board. And that one works as well as the doorbell transformer. And this one here is a microwave oven transformer. Uh, and this one works least well of all. Now this transformer is an example of one where I don't know the voltages. But instead I can go from the number of turns of wires on the coils. Uh, this coil right here has a lot of turns, a lot more than this coil right here. So the coil with the most turns you connect to the crystal radio parts and the coil with the fewer turns you connect to the earbud. So this transformer right here, the one I found on a circuit board in a microwave oven that worked fairly well, um, doesn't have any voltages marked on it either and also I can't see the coils. Um, so what I do is I take my meter, put it on the resistance scale on the bottom here are pins that are connected to the various coils inside. So I simply measure the resistance between the various pins, trying to map out the coils. So these two are connected together. There's around 280 ohms right there. But I find that these two are not. So there's an infinite resistance right there. So I don't know what this one's connected to. And then I go around for all these other pins too and do the same thing. What I find is that these two pins right here have the lowest resistance, around 12 ohms. These have the highest resistance, so this coil right here is around 280 ohms. And then these three pins are also connected to some coil inside altogether. And they have 34 ohms, 34 ohms, and then across both of them around 65 ohms or so. Um, and what I find that works best is if I take the lowest resistance coil, which is these two, the 12 ohms, and I connect that to the earbud side, and then take the highest resistance coil, this 280 ohm one, connect that to the crystal radio side, and that gives me the best sound. I'm told that you can use wall adapters too, since some wall adapters are just transformers, but make sure you get ones that are AC to AC and not AC to DC. For example, this one right here says 120 volts AC and 18 volts AC, so it's AC to AC. Well, I'm told you can use small one-to-one -one transformers as well. Those are ones where the input coil and the output coil are the same. Well, thanks for watching. Check out my YouTube channel, Rimstar.org, for more videos like this. That includes one about how to make your own crystal ear pieces, another on how a crystal radio works, and slightly related, one where I use a piezo crystal and rainwater to power an LED. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, or leave a question or comment below. See you in a bit.